Good morning, and welcome to the 24th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Be forgiving. Jesus taught us that if we wanted God to forgive us, then we must learn to forgive each other. In today's gospel, he tells us a parable about a forgiving king and his unforgiving servants. Let's light our candle. And let's say our own sorry prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Jesus, if I have hurt anyone by what I have said or done, I am sorry. If I have ignored someone or made them feel unloved, I am sorry. And if I've been unforgiving or full of anger, Jesus, I am sorry. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. So as the introduction said, today's parable is about an unforgiving servant. The questions that I want you to think about while watching the video are these. Why was a servant in trouble with the king? And at first, what did the king do? And what did he do instead? Also, did the servant show the same forgiveness towards the man who owed him some money? What happened to the unforgiving servant? And finally, what message does Jesus give us in this parable? I hope you enjoyed that video. Did you think of those questions? Did you discuss them with your mom and dad? Why was the servant in trouble with the king? At first, what did the king do? then what did he do instead? Even though the servant owed him a great deal of money, the king completely forgave him his debt and gave him a chance for a fresh start. Now, did the servant show the same forgiveness towards the man who owed him money? He quickly forgot the good example shown to him by the king and what a difference the king's mercy had made on his life. Now, what happened to the forgiving servant? The angry king had him thrown into jail until he could repay all that he owed. Now, what is the message that Jesus is trying to give us with this parable? That we must be ready to forgive others, however large or small that their wrongdoings are. And if we want to be forgiven ourselves, God will always forgive us, but in the same way, he expects us to show the same mercy to others. Now, the closing prayer is actually something you can do. Jesus has taught us many wonderful forgiving prayers, but I want you to come up with your own today, maybe with your mom or dad or siblings. I hope you have a blessed day.